Hello everyone, it's me, Maddox again. Um, I know I said I'd be doing another video tomorrow of my Wii games, but I'm bored. I don't feel like waiting. But I feel like a horrible, horrible person. I forget there were some extra GameCube games that I didn't have with the rest of them that I just found in my basement. That some of these are my other extra favorites. I completely forgot about them, so I feel like a horrible person. So let's continue my GameCube ones from before. Super Smash Brothers Melee! The first GameCube game I ever got. I am so upset that I forgot all these. These were all of my fav some of my other favorite ones too, and I'm just completely upset about it. Melee is one of the best games ever. It pretty much is one of the best GameCube games of all time. I love Melee. Ganondorf is my man, and I love Bowser. So I'm up. I'm so sorry that I completely forgot about. All my other GameCube games, I apologize. So now, back to my two, for well, my two favorite games ever, Pikmin. Pikmin was and is an amazing game. I first started playing this game when I rented it a bunch of times. I played so much, I would actually get red from how long I played it back then. And I just love Pikmin. I mean, this game is just hilarious too in its own comedic way and. Alright, uh, come on, you have to admit that when you have a bunch of Pikmin, they all die from something. You're like, no! Oh, come on, you know, it can't always be me that thinks that. But yes, that is Pikmin. Oh, but there wouldn't be Pikmin if there wasn't. Boom! Pikmin 2! This is the first game I ever reserved. One of the most exciting games ever. If, you, if you've not seen the American commercial for Pikmin 2, see it. It is so freaking funny. It really is. You will laugh your head off the entire part of it. But yes, Pikmin 2. The Adventures of Olimar, Louis, and the President. Or, President! As a little voice does it. But yes, Pikmin 2. An amazing game. Collecting all money. The one thing I do love about Pikmin 2 compared to Pikmin 1 is that they're... You, you can stay there as long as you want. You don't have your whole... You have 31 days to get out or pretty much you're screwed over. But yeah. But then you can stay here pretty much as long as you want, at least I admit. But this game is freaking amazing. I love this game to death. It is my precious. Mwah. Yes, I just kissed the game. What of it? Okay, next. Mario Power Tennis. and Another, another favorite game. Another good game of mine. Uh, I enjoyed Mario Tennis for Nintendo 64. Um, and I also enjoyed this one. So it was a good, it was a good continuation of it. Another favorite game of mine. Time Splitters 2. You can create in little stages on here, um, a bunch of little mini games and challenge modes and all different multiplayer and fighting all the different space monsters, zombies, all that good stuff. And just people who are just playing crazy and demented. Yes, Time Splitters 2, another great game. Capcom vs. SNK2. One of the very few Capcom games I actually got that I actually liked. This game was pretty fun too. Of course, you have those overpowered, unbalanced characters. This game has plenty of them. Trust me. Next, <sighs> Soul Calibur 2 with Link. I love this game. Back when I was younger, we had, we had a birthday. I had a party. At least I some friends sleeping over, and I think two, two. Like, I think there were like, how many of us? How many of us were? I think there were. There were five of us. Two, me and my other friend were always, we always played Link, and he always did the same combo moves, and I would just like just knock people off the stage with the Megaton Hammer, and they would be everyone else trying to like feel like, okay, we, we have to think of like some strategic strategy to take these two down and their links. But yeah, Soul Calibur 2, great game. All the old Soul Calibur, all, Soul, all the Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur games were great. I just love that one because it has Link. All right, next, my last GameCube game is Mystic Heroes. Um, me and my friends used to play this when we were younger. Um, some of them we didn't like it. I love, I, 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 I like, I like the uniqueness of this game. Game. The game, the story mode actually is pretty fun. Um, so there's a little like yeah, co-op mode you can do have with this. Overall, this game is fun. Like I enjoyed overall. Okay, that is it with the GameCube games. Now back to now to my Wii games. First off, probably one of the first Wii games I ever got, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. An amazing game. The only thing I love about this is that they, that, that they continued the. Um, Wind Waker style of having multiple, have, have, having different rooms with the armies, enemies get harder and harder as you keep going down. I love that. And this game is just overall over. And actually, some of my videos that I did before this are my the little um, Zelda music videos. Um, I did a, I did a few of these with this game, so that's how much I loved it. All right. Next up, 
we got another mate, another of my top favorite Wii games, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, a, a favorite to everyone, or as some people would play Project M, which I never really thought about that, so I'm happy with the same ways. So yes, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, an amazing game. All the superpowers turn. The one thing I was looking, I was looking forward to the most when I when I heard about this game was Bowser being able to turn into Giga Bowser. I've always wanted to play Giga Bowser, and I finally had a chance to in this game, which is amazing. All the Smash Balls and nailing people, Lucario. The one thing I am upset upset about is that Mewtwo's gone, but they replaced him with Lucario, so I'll forgive Nintendo for now. Next up, another uh, one of my first Wii games, Excite Truck. I'm not usually a racing person or anything like that, but I actually, I actually really did enjoy this game. This game actually is a lot of fun. There's so often I do play from it, play it from time to time, but you know, you have little nitro boosters and little jumps and do little tricks. But yeah, like I said, I'm not normally the, the kind of racing person. I, I like the kind of racing games where you have like weapons and like machine guns and missiles, like pew 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 pew, kabloom. But yeah, that's the kind of games I like. I saw. I wasn't really into this at first, and I was like, oh my god, this game is so much fun. Like you, you can crash people and you can you crash yourself. It's good. Um, ah, uh, yes. There were some other game GameCube games I had that... I think my brother took them and stole them, but I used to play Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2. Met the Metroid game, Metroid Prime game for GameCube were the, was some of the best. Were so much fun. I really do I do really do really like it. They were some fun. But speaking of Metroid Prime... BAM! Metroid Prime 3 Corruption! This game was, this game was a lot of fun, too. I, I enjoy the story mode. I've always... I've, there's never been one Metroid Prime game that I've, that I've not liked. This game really is amazing. I mean, Dark Samus, there she is. Dark Samus is, a, Dark Samus is back, and I, and I enjoy kicking her ass. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, Metroid Prime 3 was a, is a really fun game. I do like the different, all the, I mean, the whole thing that you're not, you're not confined to one area, like, or one plan, you can, you can go back to, for, you can go back to forth, fight it. Ugh, you go back to forth. Eh, what's the one I'm looking for? You know what I mean. Go to different planets, and um, you know, actually like fly around in your ship, which we've never really had a chance to see Samus' ship. But now was a good time too. Um, no, not that game. That one game my parents got me. It's not the best. Here we go. Here's a fun game that I loved. Mario and Sonic in the Olympic Games for the last one. Um. This game is fun as hell. This game is like one of those family games that if you're like at a relative that has this game or so some family event, do it. The most fun one I think we had was the running one. And really, this is pretty much awesome. All of us who had the Wiimotes were going like, you, you have to shake these things really, really hard if you want to run fast. All you see of us going, Nyeh. that's all you're seeing us doing. My whole, everyone else is watching, just laughing. But this game, this game is fun, I will admit. It's one of my favorites, or a lot of my favorites. I was so glad when I found this in person. How, oh uh, wait, yeah. The House of the Dead 2 and 3. I've always enjoyed playing the House of the Dead games back in the arcades in Ocean City, New Jersey. But, um... Yeah, this... They, when I was able to get these in person, this game... I love the House of the Dead games so much. I mean, really, like, who does not like blasting zombies? And these games just make it so much better. But yeah, but if you ever had a chance to pick up the House of the Dead game for some classic arcade action, definitely get this. It's definitely worth it. Alright, next up we got... The only Guitar Hero game I've ever played. Guitar Hero 3! Legends of Rock! Um, yeah, my parents got me for this for my birthday, and I... I don't was a major Guitar Hero person, but I do like it. And every so often, even though I'm not very good at the game, I like going back to Through Fire and the Flames. I can't do that. I, the only version that song I can do is easy, and that's just tricky enough. I'm like... Ding, 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 ding. But yeah, but... Guitar Hero 3. The only one I ever got, but I liked it. Alright. Continuing on for my Paper Mario ones. Super Paper Mario for Wii. The one downside that me and a few of my friends had with this game was the pl they completely can change the play style of it, which, like I said, I love the game. I love the play style of it. But, you know, for people, for the classic people who grew up playing the Paper Mario and then Paper Mario 2 for, and then Paper, the one for GameCube, you know, we're like, we're used to the normal, like, battle system, like, you know, choosing attacks, blocking attacks. You know, they changed a little bit. Overall, I still love this game. This game was great. But some people were like, oh, man, it's not the usual play style of it. So I was a little upset about that, too. But overall, I love this game. Like, it's just one. It's just one of my favorites. They're all my favorites. All right, another fun one, Mario Kart Wii. I do love this game. It took me forever to get Dead Bowser. Dead Bowser's the only once I got him, I play him. Really, what is not more awesome than a Bone Bowser? Really, come on. But yeah, but um, Mario Kart Wii. Um, I do kick some people's butts on. Um, 
on the Wi-Fi with it. But overall, I do love this game. This game is great. Um, just not another Mario Kart class because really, you can't hate Mario Kart. If you hate if you hate Mario Kart, you hate you hate the world. So. You know, get out of my world if you hate Mario Kart. Next, one of my fighting games. Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. Um, this game is also very, very fun. I love fighting games like this with multiple combos and stuff like that. I wasn't into much of the normal Street Fighter games. Like, to doing, like, maybe, like, the ones, like, Special Attack, like, Hadouken and Soyuken and, you know, all the, like, Ryu ones. But this one, you have, like, super mega secret attacks and ultra attacks. And that's what I love about this game. You know, it's not just confined to the normal, like, hitting people, you know, hitting, getting combos and your super attacks at. This is one another one of my favorite games, too. I do kick keep some people's butt on Wi-Fi, but then some of them kick my butt, too, so. It's equal. All right, we got next up, um, I really didn't ask for this, but it actually turned out really fun. Um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I was never good at Donkey Kong Country back on the original systems for it. But, um, my parents got me this for Christmas, and I actually, or my brother got me this for Christmas, and I actually did enjoy it, too. Um, the final boss, getting to the final boss is hard, and, um, but other all, overall, I actually did really enjoy this game. This game is fun. Wasn't my, wasn't, this is my super mega, this is my super play style, but overall, it was a fun, enjoyable game. Like, I'm not gonna try beating everything, getting all the things for it. Not, not really into me, I'm not really into that, for that, but, okay. <sighs> One of my favorite games overall. One Piece Unlimited Adventure. This game is so much fun. It really is. I Since I'm a major One Piece fan, and once I saw this game, I had to get it. I'm still hoping that they have come out with Unlimited Cruise 1 and 2 for this. If they come out for in the, in the English version, so at least English subtitle, but keep the Japanese voices, I will pretty much freak out because i want unlimited cruise one and two to come to america i am waiting for the day that will happen but for now this is the best i got but this game is still fun too uh one of my top favorites i think maybe in like maybe in the next day or two i'll do a video of all my top favorite um gamecube games wii games and maybe i'll do a video on both of them combined but my overall games that i enjoy next is um bleach the shattered blade um, it's a little itchy, or, nah, what's the word I'm looking for, like, sketchy on how the play style is, but overall, I actually do it, it's Bleach, you really can't, you really can't say you can't like it, but it's, it, it is a fun game, it's not the most fun fighting game I've ever played, but it is, a, it is very enjoyable, and I do like it a lot, I like going Bankai with all Ichigo, and going Tetsuga Tensho, and all that good stuff, Tetsuga again? Alright, another one of my favorites, Godzilla Unleashed. As I said before, I'm a major Godzilla fan, and when I heard that they created a second one, but that one was out for PS2 and Xbox, I was really, I was really unhappy. But when they came out for this one for Wii, I just love this game. This game is so much fun. When I bought, when I got this for Christmas, I played this thing for like, like the, the entire day, and I just love the Godzilla games. He's and the, the one thing I do like about this that I added is that the ad, I think they may have done this in the last one, but I never really played it or looked at it. But they added in that you can actually walk. And shoot your beam in the first the, at the same time because in the original one they just had you standing still and firing your beam. Um, I'm saving you for last. Um, okay, my next one is my other DD, my Wii DDR game, Dance Dance Revolution, the hottest party. Is another one of my favorite games that I definitely did enjoy. Um, so there are a lot, there are a lot of good songs on it. And every so often, when I get a new record, um, a, a computer challenges me, and the and the, and the games, the the, end, the songs that they challenge me to are really hard. Like I'm not amazing at DDR, so it is kind of tough for me, but it is always fun. But I definitely do enjoy DDR games. That's why when I'm going to the shore, I'm probably gonna use all, almost all my money and play DDR for like a few hours. That's what I normally do. All right, next up. Resident Evil 4, I talked about, for the Wii, I talked about this earlier, but I, um, I really do enjoy it. After I played the first round, I found out that you can get Ashley, she gets some armor, which makes her invincible, which is so much fun. Like, I, like, I was like, huh, I wonder if this really works. So I think I had, I had the rocket launcher. I was like, Ashley, go stand over there real quick. Don't move. Boom! I shot my rocket launcher at her, and I was like, oh god, I think I just killed Ashley. <clears throat> she was fine. The, the funny thing is, like, normally, what she, normally what she did was she was just crouch. All she does to protect herself is a little flap that covers in front of her face just goes down, and she's invincible. Like, when enemies try picking her up, they just she just falls down on them. I think one time she actually killed someone once. They picked her up and crushed them. It was funny as hell. But Resident Evil 4, another one of my favorite, another one of the good and awesome game I own. <clears throat> All right, here's something that's a really good game. <clears throat> the Conduit. The story mode of this game was really, really interesting and a lot of fun, but the online play was glitchy as hell. Like, there were there were so many glitches in that 
that there, there were some parts of the building that you could get into, and you could pretty much shoot people from anywhere, but they could not shoot, see you or shoot you. But, um, and there was the one, the most annoying one, probably the strongest one, was, um, the, the, God, what's what I'm looking for? <clears throat> Uh, the automatic ro uh, rocket launcher, which in like, some of the matches you only had was a rocket launcher and exploding items or exploding guns. So one of them was 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 was, was, a, was a rapid fire one called the beehive. And what you do is a uh, some little crouching picking up thing. And once you got to a certain point, then apparently the ammo would go to or like the ra ammo rapid fire in this would go to the rocket launcher. And pretty much you're just shooting like 50 like like um, rockets out at a time, and it's just complete mayhem. Only no one barely ever survives it. But yeah, it's conduit. And speaking of conduit, conduit two. They fix a lot of the glitchiness in the game. There are still a few, but there aren't as many anymore, and no one does the rocket launcher glitchy marks. I think they completely fixed that, which I'm very glad they did, because I was kind of overpowered. There are some glitches where people are able to hide in the buildings and all this stuff like that, but Conduit 2. I am upset they got rid of um, Mr. F uh, Michael's, uh, Mr. Ford, and uh, Prometheus's voice. That's the one thing I hated. But the boss fight, they had boss fights in this. The boss fights are fun as hell. I, was, I loved it. The funniest m moment... In this entire game, well, this whole game is comedic. Mr. Ford is just a comedic little guy, but one of the funniest moments is look it up. The very last fight when you fight against, um, God, what the hell is the guy called again? Adams. Yeah, Adams. The very like you, you see his true form, and when you when you, when you fight him in his true form, he's like, you know, just look it up. You 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 get a real kick. You know, what I'll say it. But like, what it happens is. This, uh, God, what was it? Oh well, but yeah, look it up. Look up the final fight, Mr. Ford, um, no, and uh, Adams, and what? He's like, so boy, how long do you think you can survive here? Long enough to kick your ass. Funniest moment ever. If you want, to, if you want a good laugh, just keep watching that part over and over again. It is really great. But yes, the Conduit games, love them. I'm also trying to get Lore to do a Conduit. Of, I'm trying to do a Lore video on Conduit One. And um, Pikmin 1, because that's actually where the more better storylines are for both of them. And finally, coming down to my last two Animal Crossing Wild World. Um, you know, it's another Animal Crossing game, I love it. Uh, every so often, these games, I always like, oh, I have my girlfriend. My girlfriend in this is a wolf, so I like, wolf. I'm like, I'm a, I like wolves. Now, my finally, my, probably my favorite game over, ever Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Most, um, such an amazing, fun game. Um, the boss fights are so better. Like, back in the original Zelda, you was just like, you in a simple room, maybe, and you just fought the guy. But in this game, they actually, in this game, they actually caught up with, like, the, um, normal area of boss fights. Like, they're different phases. The stages are huge. And this game is just so much fun. The boss fights are so epic. The final boss fight is fun as hell. But he, but he gets really badass when his final form of it. Um, yeah, so... That's that, and that is it. Those are officially all my Wii and GameCube games. So I'm hoping to do another video of my, maybe another, uh, some of my, my DS games and all that, but, um, yeah, so I will do, a, I will be, in the, maybe the next, like, day or two, I will do another video of, uh, maybe, like, my top five, my top five, maybe top ten GameCube games, Wii games, and then overall games, I'm gonna have to decide on that, but, yeah, so, that's it, I hope you guys had a good time, had a good time, um, subscribe to my videos, some of these are gaming, some of these are about, um, other things, some of these are about cryptozoology, some of these are about other things, whatever I think is interesting, some of them about my day, but lately, been, they have been about video games, so, I hope everyone has a good day, and remember to subscribe, tell your friends, and I hope you guys have a good day.